what's going on guys um let me just sorry about that what's going on guys um i just probably watched the worst boxing i've ever seen in my life now i can't legally show you the whole fight but what i can show you is the disgrace that is the heavyweight division now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go straight to here now this is sky sports you can't fucking flag me for this sky because i'm literally taking your own content that you've pu publicly posted on twitter and i'm literally adding context to it so this is fair use fuck you okay plain and simple Now, the first thing you're going to notice, and I'll, I'll expand this, okay? The first thing you're going to notice is look at the feet. Now, I'm slowing this down, but look. What do you see? Their feet are flatter then 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 tank tracks their feet are flatter than then than a filipino boy's chest they are flatter than 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 let me put it to you like this if i want to calibrate this machinist's fucking ruler I'm going to have to use it against their feet. Their feet are that flat to the ground. Why? Because some idiot said, Well, due to physics, if you have a flat foot, you're going to have more power. Eh, wrong, you fucking tit. Watch. When he punches, flat foot, flat foot, flat foot. Dubois counters. How does Dubois counter? Let's take a look at Dubois' feet. Okay, we're watching Dubois. Look. He's lighter on his... See? Right here. He's lighter on his back foot. He's more on his front foot. Which means he's ready to intercept the incoming punch. Which means Joshua's power has nothing so wait for it right there dubois then realizes he's coming in he tries to slip tries to tries to counter probably with the counter is look now this is where aj fucks up aj didn't go in with his right why didn't aj go in with his right Dubois' entire left side is exposed. Why did he not go on the inside? Why did he not curl in? Little bit of a background about me. From the ages of 11 to 15, I did nothing but amateur boxing. And I was fucking good at it. I used to fight guys twice, damn near twice my size and three times my age. I'm taking on 15, 16 year olds when I'm 11. Taking names and knocking people out. I was so fucking good. I was introduced to Henry Cooper, former world heavyweight champion. And I used to fight in Cooper's gym on the old Kent Road. Henry fucking Cooper's gym. I was that fucking good. So I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Why didn't AJ go in there? Whoever his fucking trainer is, you should be slapped upside the fucking head because you don't know boxing. Go back to doing break dancing. You might, you just might beat the Australians at it. Because you fucking suck as a trainer. Now, wait for it. Right there. What did Joshua do? Tried to go with a tried to go straight away with a fucking right hand overhead. Yes, it connected to Dubois. To, to Dubois. Now, that shows that Dubois has no fucking guard. Now, this is round five. 
This isn't round seven, eight, or nine where they're both gassing out really badly. This is the problem with the fucking heavyweight division. You fuckers gas out by the second round. You have no fucking stamina. None of you do. This is why if, when a light heavyweight comes up against you, they run fucking rings around you and they just beat you like a red-headed stepchild. Because you fuckers think, oh, I want to be aesthetic. I want to be the next Arnold. It's not a fucking bodybuilding fucking competition, you stupid fucking cunts. Stop stacking on muscle mass thinking that equates to power. It fucking does not. I know 80-year-old Chinamen that can quite literally punch twice as hard as you and they don't have the muscles you do. Why? Because it comes down to physics. When you do a right hand overhead, and I will do it right here, when you do a right hand overhead, like he just did, like Joshua just did, you've lost power here, you've lost power here, and you've lost power here. This punch is designed to get through someone's guard. It is not designed to actually be a knockout, and that's what you focused on the entire fight, was your fucking overhands. Which do fuck all. You should have focused on follow ups, which means one, one, two, follow up, one, one, two, follow up. Focus on your follow ups. That's where your power is. Fucking snap. The, the snap is where your fucking power up is. Now, I haven't boxed in fucking 10 years. I've got boxing. You know what? Fuck it. I'll show you. I have not boxed professionally or amateurly in years, but I still carry four, I still carry my 14 ounce gloves, 14 ounces. That's exactly what these guys have. I still have my training mats. Yeah, these are old fucking training gloves, but you know what? I still use them. I still train with people. I still keep my speed. I still keep my edge. I can fucking take these guys. And no, I'm not a fucking keyboard warrior chatting that shit. I know I can. Because I take, I've took on heavyweights in the past. And they all had the same problem. They gassed the fuck out. It Literally, if you want to be a heavyweight boxer, watch the movie Real Steel. You know, the, that Hugh Jackman robot boxing movie? Prime example. What did Adam do? For the entire fight against whatever his name was, the, the, the big back black robot. What did he do? He gassed him out. Wait for him to run out of power and then pop, bang, pop, bang, pop, bang, bang, down he goes. That's exactly what happened here. Dubois gassed out AJ because AJ has no fucking stamina. AJ literally... <laughs> by the fucking second, third round like he's got asthma. Now bear in mind, I fucking have asthma. Where's my inhaler? I actually fucking have asthma. Where the fuck is my inhaler? It should be on my... Here it is. I have asthma. And I still box. And I don't gas out. What's their excuse? Roided up morons. That's what they are. Now, wait for it. Why are you going for another overhead? You... You... Why? Why, you utter mong? Why are you doing that? Oh, because you think it's effective? Does it look effective? He's still standing. Where's your follow-up? Oh, you didn't have a follow-up, did you? Dubois did, but pack counter. And look at your guard. Look at your guard from your sternum down. You're open. You're so open, you might as well be a fucking 7-Eleven gas station. What, is this rock'em, sock'em robots? <laughs> Who the fuck? Is this guy got one of those idiots' guides to boxing or some shit? You... Why? 
Why? Why are you... you why, why did you just telegraph what you were doing? Literally. Go back. Count how long it takes for you to actually realise he's caught on. Right there. Before you've even got your feet into position. Which, by the way, has telegraphed what your next punch is going to be. You think you faked him out into doing another another right hand over here. Which, by the way, is not working. But you're not listening. Your jaw is telling you it's not going to work. Brain's telling you it's not going to work. But you're still going, I'm going to fucking do it anyway. So what, you, you try to go for a right hand uppercut. W what's your fucking left hand doing? Is it off on holiday? Is it off on vacation? So, you go in, he counters, hits you first, which means you've now lost all momentum and power in your punch, which, oh look, didn't even hit. You hit him with the side of your hand. If a judge was smart enough and saw that, he would fucking deduct a point on you. That's a rabbit punch. That's a slap. Who taught you that? Fucking McGregor? With his hammer fists? You idiot. So, you're going for that. He counters you. You're now going, Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's good to see we meet again. And down you go. Oh, look. Oh, bye-bye. Let's wait. Bye-bye. 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 Bye bye. Your brain at this point is saying, We do have a left arm, you know. Why didn't you use it? And the other part of your brain is going, It's not saying a word. You want to know why it's not saying a word? Because it's scrambled. Because you're a fucking moron. And by the way, you earned me 200 quid. I quite literally called it Dubois knockout fifth round. Dubois knockout fifth round. Paddy Power. My old company that hired me. I don't work for them no more, so I can freely bet with them now. And trust me, when I walked into the betting shop yesterday, looked my old boss Angus square in the face and said, Angus, my dude, I want to put a bet down. Here's a tenner. And he's like, what you doing? And I'm like, Daniel Dubois. Fifth round, knockout. He laughs and goes, nah, AJ's going to knock him out. I'm like, who out of all of us had the perfect record for calling boxers? Who used to have customers come in and specifically ask me for boxing advice? And so he rolls his eyes and goes, it's your loss. Takes my bet. He literally texts me after the fight and says, come in in the morning and come and collect your money. 200 bones right there. Why? Because I watched Dubois' training camps. It's clear you fucking didn't. It's clear your fucking training camp, AJ Unconscious, clearly didn't. And look at you. You're just laying there going, what am I going to do? Oh no. I can feel my belts going away. I blame that fat fucking Mexican who knocked me out and made me look like an idiot because I'm a flat-footed fuck. Oh God. It's all slipping away. <laughs> I'm just going to lay here, mummy. Is that all right? Thank you, mummy. I'm just going to lay here. Good night. No, go for it. No, no. And that's literally what you did. That is literally what you did. Your brain did not think. I have no idea why the ref is even counting. He should have looked you squared. Look, look, look at him. Now, this is slowed down, okay? Look, he's, look at him. Look, he can't even get up. You can't even get up. He, he, look, even your... This is the little... Look at this. Look at this, dude. How the fuck are you taking boxing advice from a man who's wearing parachute pants like he's fucking MC Hammer? How? How are you taking boxing advice and training tips from this more? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. The moment, the, the moment he stepped in a ring, AJ lost. 
And notice how Dubois' trainer... Now, that's Dubois' corner, by the way. Dubois' trainer doesn't come out at all until the ref declares it a knockout. And then there goes Dubois' trainer to celebrate with Dubois. And what's Dubois do? Dubois pushes his trainer away. Dubois goes to approach his opponent to make sure his opponent's okay. His other team managers get in the way to try and stop him. He pushes them to a side. He's saying, no, I'm not interested. I want to check on him. I want to check on him. Why? Because that is the sign of a good boxer. He wants to make sure that his opponent's okay. The fight is over. It's no longer personal. It was business, and business is done. AJ, you should just retire. You should just retire. You're never going to be able to look this defeat in the eye. And take it and own it. You're going to come up with some bullshit excuse. You're going to come up with some bullshit fucking excuse. You're going to come up with some shit of, oh, I was drugged. Oh, I was this. I was that. No. Fact of the matter is, you have a shit trainer, a shit training camp, and you put on too much fucking muscle mass thinking you are an Adonis. You're not an Adonis. This is what you are. You literally look like an idiot. And this is not photoshopped. That is how hard Dubois hits you in the fucking face. You look like Shrek's fucking African cousin. It's right there. That's what putting on too much muscle. There's the old phrase. Too much horsepower, not enough traction. That's how race cars lose races. Has nothing to do with them having 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 horsepower. If they cannot apply that traction to the ground, the car ain't going nowhere. It's just going to spin its tires. And it's going to be about as useful as a one-legged man at an ass-kicking contest. Daniel Dubois outclassed you. Outboxed you. He just beat you. And if I were you, Joshua, take the L. Take it. Don't go, oh, well, we've got a rematch. I'm thinking about a rematch. No, no, no. Because you know what? It's up to Dubois to accept the rematch or not. And you know what? If I was in Dubois' camp right now, I would tell him, it's not worth your time. AJ is not even an opponent that is even remotely in your league. He shouldn't be in the top 10. AJ should should barely be scratching top 20 in the heavyweight division. He needs to lose the muscle mass. But he can't because if he does, he won't make weight. That is AJ's problem. AJ is just tall. That's it. That's all he's got going for him. An inside boxer like Tonga, Tyson... Um, um, Tunga, Tyson, uh, um, Foreman, hell, even, um, shoot, Raging Bull, Italian Stallion, Marciano, if they were in their prime boxing right now, Dubois wouldn't be in the top five, Style AJ wouldn't be in the top five. None of the of the current boxers would be in the top five that are, are boxing now. The Us, the, the, the Usex would not be boxing. They wouldn't stand a chance. Would not stand a chance. If David Tunga got on the inside of AJ Styles, he would maul him like a pit bull chewing on a fucking dandelion. Or as I like, because I can't say mauling a puppy anymore because, you know, the whole clamp down on the bully breed. But you get the point I'm trying to make. It would be like seeing a rabid wolverine attacking a helpless sheep. Why? Because Styles has no guard. You saw it. No guard. From sternum to abdomen, wide the fuck open like it's the US south border. 
literally, if, if AJ Styles had fleas and they were Mexican, you could hear mariachi bands. <laughs> literally, just freely coming and going across the border that is his guard, his lower guard. Just his guard, period. AJ has no guard. AJ has nothing other than he's tall. He has no stamina. He has no punch. He has no snap. He has nothing. Nothing going for him. And if I was AJ right now, I would seriously evaluate about letting his trainers go because they are nothing. They're just yes men. None of them know how to truly push fucking AJ. I hate to say it. But they don't. Dubois' camp outtrained him. Dubois and his camp outboxed him. They outmaneuvered him. They 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 knew more of the ring than he did. They just they outclassed him everywhere and anywhere. And I've been saying this about AJ Styles since his hype train started. And it is. It's nothing but a hype train on fucking biscuit wheels. That's all he ever was. Ruiz proved that point by knocking him out. Now, Andy Ruiz is nothing to write home about. But he's also nothing about him that stands out. He's a good boxer when he trains. When he puts his work in. When he puts his head down and fucking proves himself. Ruiz can do it. Dubois can do it. Yes, they are getting a bit older in age. And with age, with age comes ring rust and various other things. But I am telling you, Styles, you need to fire. Joshua, you need to fire your training camp. I mean it. You need to fire your training camp. This This is the hype train that is you. This is the 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 Give me the belt! Give me the belt! Hot to touch talk! Give me the belt! Give me the belt! Trust me, there was that old meme about fucking uh, about McGregor wanting everyone's belts. That that's you. That was you. Was you? And everyone you fought to get those belts. Don't get me wrong. Some of them had substance. Some of them had style. But none of them. This is the thing with collecting belts. When you lose the belts, you lose all of them. I genuinely think once you lose all the belts, they should not immediately go to the to the to the, the next winner. Those belts should be put into a tournament pool. And each tournament pool is worth one specific belt. And then those ones who wins the belt get to get to go one on one, one on one, one on one, until so you get back to a unified champion again. But I'm sorry, AJ. Your time's passed. You fight like Frank Bruno. And I hate to say it. You fight like Frank Bruno. You're flat-footed. You're stocky. You're wide. You're tall. You think you can fight. You can't fight. You can't fight. And you're probably thinking, okay, who the fuck is this asshole talking you know, in his bedroom to a webcam? There's several boxing gyms around here. We can get into a ring and spa. I'll show you who the fuck I am. But you don't want that. You don't want this smoke. Take it from one fighter's... I, I, take it from one fighter who has studied the art and history of boxing. We are very fucking scary. We are very fucking deadly. Mike Tyson is very fucking scary and very fucking deadly. Not because just his raw power and aggression and strength and, and 
tenacity and, and sheer fucking will has to do with the fact that that man can tell you the history of boxing. The ins and the outs. What champions should have been champions but never made it because of politics and various other things. He wasn't just an Ali yes man. I have met former heavyweight champions, current heavyweight champions. I've seen them fight. I've given them tips. They laughed at me until their trainer was like, no, actually, he's right. You're doing it wrong. And their trainer even came up to me. He's like, would you spar with this guy for a bit? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And I sparred with this guy. Middleweight champion. Good, good lad. Regional. Up in up in um, Lincolnshire, good good lad. He was, he was twenty, twenty three, twenty four at the time, and I was 30, no, I just turned forty. So I had a, some age, some years on him. But we went two minutes, three two minutes, three rounds each. By the end of it, I earned that boy's respect, and he earned mine. And that's the point I'm trying to make to you guys. Know when to quit. And the problem with you, AJ, you don't know. You've got too many people whispering in your ear telling you, oh, you can do it, you can do it, you, you, you can do it, you can do it. They're not in the ring, are they? They're not the one getting their head kicked in, are they? Stop surrounding yourself by yes men. Surround yourself by people that will look you square in the face and tell you you're fucking up. Pull your socks up. And especially that don't wear fucking parachute pants thinking it's the fucking 90s again. Alright, vanilla ice. Anyway, deuces.